If you don't show up, even if you're not playing, coaches see that. If you was if if you was listening to what I said the other day when I came in, that's part of being uncoachable without having them have to physically have to say something to you directly. If if like I didn't play, I was on the team. You know what I mean? So when you don't play, it's easy for you to feel it's easy for you to feel like everybody's against you and you know you nice and everybody else know you nice. But the thing is, is the coach's responsibility in most cases is to mold you to be not just acceptable for where you're at at that time, but for where you may go. You're 13 now, you see what I'm saying? You're 13, about to be 14, you a child. And what was hard for me to understand was, like I could tell you all types of things about your game, how you shoot, you shoot like this. And I'm the same height that you were when I was your age. And you shoot like this. You play, you, you flat footed, you don't play on your toes. I can tell you everything wrong with you. But that won't do you no good if I can't tell you the good things about you. And when the coaches tell you the good things about you, you gotta remember to listen to what people don't say. Well, didn't I say that? Right? So sometimes they'll tell you, yo, you good at this, you good at that, you good at this. But then when you do something that's wrong, they never say it till it happens. They never tell you beforehand so you can work on it so you don't have to worry about that. You know? So if you, if, for instance, whatever the conversation's about, if you're able to go to the game, even if you ain't getting no burn, but believe me, you have no idea what it's like not to get no real burn, bro. You have no idea. I'm talking about when I was in middle school, started, all that, cool. Go to high school, had to work, sat on the bench, started at the five. Like I said, I went from five to the one, right? That's why, that's why I'm bop, 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 bop. You know what I'm saying? I'm wilding, right? Because I worked on that. Now the issue is, is that's all the good stuff. But the bad thing is, is that's not being told to me in a manner that, that, that is accept that I can understand because it was before his time. But see, you're in a generation where, you know what I'm saying, like dudes just, you know what I'm saying, they do, that wasn't, nobody was doing that when I was playing. The, the, the most fire thing that was happening when I was your age was people started like stiff legging. That was it. That was it. Stiff legs. It wasn't no, it wasn't no Euro, none of that. Ginobili wasn't doing none of that yet. None of that. You know what I mean? Iverson's crossover, they outlawed the joint, it's wild illegal. All the homies is like this. Everybody doing it. Everybody doing that. And then everybody start doing that one. You got the first move and the second move. The moral of the story is, is if you can be there, go ahead and go. If you ain't got nothing else better to do, I mean, if you want some roadblocks or something like that, it'll be there. But that time, that chance for you to build something, Opportunities come and go, and sometimes you don't know what opportunities are there. This is an opportunity right now because I'm here to even say it, because I heard it. I could have easily not even said anything or easily not been here today. And you would have went on thinking the way that you're thinking. Now you have something to think about. You cool. You good. You're just 13. You're just a child. You all right? All right, yo.